Hello! So I traveled with my van through Europe after school for a year and in that time I have learned a lot about free forms of travel and making money while traveling and just kind of different tips and tricks that I would like to share because I love traveling. A lot of people shy away from it because it's too expensive but it doesn't have to be and that's what I want to show you today. <laughs> but what better place to film than sitting in my van. I know the sun's in the back but I couldn't position the camera a different way so I hope it's not too bad. Okay, actually that's not too bad. Maybe that's a little bit better. Um, so yeah, first before I get to the points, I also want to make clear that travel and vacation, for me, this is very important to me, are two different things. But vacation is usually super expensive. I'm speaking more about, you know, going to different places to gather experiences, learn about new cultures, meet people, um, yeah, just kind of figure out maybe what you want to do or just see something new and yeah here are my tips <laughs> so i don't really know where to start let me get my list i made a few points first is um the general like where do you stay what do you do where do you go i would say we'll start with that one so my biggest tip of all i'll just put it right in the beginning to volunteer places do more like work and travel so there's different sites where you can do that with. The one that I used was Workaway, which I was really happy with. I had really nice experiences. I have to say I had one not so nice experience where I was getting paid though. Like I took an actual job off of Workaway that was a paid position and I did it get a bit ripped off with that. Um, but otherwise, when there was no money in the game, <laughs> Um, it was always a really nice experience and it was really lovely people and I can make another video on uh, maybe those experiences or places to go um, and give some examples of where to go but it's a lot of places they have different things like what I did was volunteering on farms a lot or doing construction like natural construction um, Okay, there's people coming, but whatever. So, yeah, another thing I did was, um, yeah, where I was working for money, I was working at a campsite. They also have a lot of hostels in Portugal, for example. There's a bunch of surf hostels that look for people to volunteer. Or also families and or house sitting. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, there's something for everyone. Also teaching, for example, there's language exchange. And that's really really good it's a really really nice way to travel and you kind of get to meet people right away you get to know the culture plus you get to oh yeah the concept i didn't say that yet is that you get to uh, eat and live for free usually like you get food and housing but in exchange for work so what it was most of the time it was five hours of work five days a week which could vary depending on what you do and then you get to stay there for free and get to eat which I think is a really good deal and the work was usually really fun and it was usually with other volunteers so it was really nice yeah so work away is one site and then I know there's also world packers I never used that but I think it's also really good I met a lot of people that use that um yeah there's also a lot of volunteering options where you do need to pay for, though which I've also done and I got ripped off with that I know there's good experiences with that as well but I got a bit ripped off with that one um, and yeah you don't have to spend a lot of money you can do this literally for free like for work away you have to pay I think 35 euros a year so it's like three euros a month uh, so that's really cool especially if you want to learn things or kind of get insight in a different field or you could also get a job in a different country and um, just work there and live there for a while, which is also a nice experience. Hello, I was editing the video and I realized I forgot something. 
Another cool option is to volunteer at festivals. If you want to go to a festival but it's too expensive, you can volunteer and help work at the festival. You can help set it up or um, work during the festival. Usually it depends where you apply to. I'll put some links down below if I can find something, but otherwise if you just look up online the festival you want to go to and you go on their site, they'll usually have a volunteering or um, a volunteering or jobs area. It's usually not right in the beginning because they obviously want you to pay for the festival, but if you scroll down, you'll usually find something where you can apply, and that's also another great way to go to a festival for free. Another important thing is slow travel, like traveling slow and not going to a bunch of places every day, different days, uh, a different place every day, and just taking your time that is more eco-friendly and also more cost-efficient because you're not paying so much commute all the time. Yeah, another free way to stay places is kind of couch surfing. I know couch surfing does charge a small fee, that's why I don't have couch surfing because <laughs> I didn't want to pay that. Um, I signed up on a page called Be Welcome. It's a free couch surfing page which is also, I've had really good experiences with. I've done couch surfing a few times and the people are usually all super nice. Like you do have to be, you know, you have to read the profile and kind of get a feel for if it's real or not. You know, I mean, usually it's fine, but you can usually tell if it's sketchy or not. You know, there's some profiles that I said no to and then when I said yes and I had a good feeling about it, it was always fine. Um, it was really nice. I did it once in Greece. I stayed with a woman and I got my wallet stolen and she helped me with everything. She was so friendly and let me stay at her place and cook with her and everything. And in Switzerland, no, not Switzerland, in Austria one time we stayed with a woman and yeah. Also another tip is if you start traveling, like if you volunteer or if you're traveling and you just start talking to people, you'll meet people and um, yeah, you'll make a bunch of friends. If you meet people and talk to people, there will be a lot of doors that open up and a lot of places you can stay and a lot of friendships to be made. It's really nice. I can really just, you know, I don't know, if you're scared even traveling alone, once you go out and once you kind of start, things will just come your way and it all kind of finds its place. But yeah, a good place to start is volunteering, couch surfing. Another way you can stay places for free is, I mean, obviously I have my car, like I would just stay in my van, which was an investment to start with, but it paid off in the end. It was uh, nice because I could just pull up and sleep wherever I wanted to without having to pay hotels, so I have to say that's like not really my experience field is hotels and hostels. But another thing you can do is, in, when it's warm especially, you can kind of just go free camping or get a hammock and put it up and sleep where you find a spot. For free camping you need to be a bit careful sometimes because it's not legal in every country, but that is also an option. For commuting, free way to go places is to walk. You can walk places, you can get a bike and bike places. Like, like I said, slow travel is way more cost efficient and if you just go with what you have, that's already pretty good. You can also try to hitchhike, which you also need to be careful with, like, you know, you need to Trust your feeling, I don't want to recommend anyone going hitchhiking and then it not ending up good. And maybe also don't do it alone. Um, be responsible, be careful, but it is an option and it does work. And it depends which country you're in. I know in Italy, for example, it's more tricky to hitchhike. In Portugal and Spain and France, you can hitchhike pretty well. And I've met a lot of people that have done it. I've done it only like maybe three or four times, but I've always had good experiences with it as well. And it is also more, um, 
it's a bit exhausting, but it is free. Otherwise, cheap options for commuting are car sharing, like there's sites like uh, Blah Blah Car, which is really good and you can find cheap rides, or if you are traveling with a car or a van or whatever, you can also uh, have people drive with you and get the money. So yeah, just drive with multiple people, share the gas, and then you already saved some money. Otherwise, uh, Flix Bus or Blah Blah Bus also has really cheap rides, and if you take night buses, they're usually super cheap, plus you don't need a place to stay for the night, which this is like a really, it's exhausting. I've, every time I booked a night bus, I low-key regretted it, but you save money and um, it's usually pretty cheap. Yeah, for planes, I don't really know. I know like Skyscanner usually shows pretty cheap plane tickets, but I'm not really that on board with flying and hostels because that wasn't what I did so much but um yeah I like Skyscanner for flights they usually show me pretty cheap flights I'll put some sites down below in general I'll link everything down below uh, then lastly food like how to save on food costs so one thing that you can do is dumpster diving uh which a lot of the supermarkets they just throw out a bunch of food that's still good but you can totally still eat it and you have to kind of also be a bit careful with the legal conditions depending on the country area and store but that is also an option also a good option is too good to go which is a site where restaurants and supermarkets sell the leftovers or things that are about to go bad for really cheap like or just things that didn't get sold like bakeries do it a lot or even restaurants you can get like a full meal for i don't know three euros or two meals for three euros and it's really good i like doing that as well also food sharing is really good um there's a website i'll put it below i don't know if it's only for germany or in general but you can look like they'll have food sharing boxes and then people put food, you can leave food and take it. It's also a free way to get some food. So that's all I wrote down for how to save money while traveling. Another good tip is free Wi-Fi. You can always get it at McDonald's <laughs> or many places have free Wi-Fi, but McDonald's is a pretty good place if you need free Wi-Fi. Um, and for showers and everything, most camping sites will let you shower, usually for like a euro, which is also good. Or just go wash yourself in a lake and use soap that's biodegradable and doesn't harm the water though. But yeah, there's many ways to save money and not spend money. There's also a lot of ways to make money while traveling, but that would be like a full nother video so I can make some more videos about traveling on a budget or just travel stories or traveling in general and I know this was a bit chaotic but I hope I can edit it so that it makes sense and I'll put some links down below and some pictures because then you'll have a bit more of an overview but I hope I could help and yeah thank you for watching <laughs> Please go and travel <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.